Hello, my name is Mark Karadimos from MathGuide.com and here I am going to talk to you today about the order of operations. So uh, we're going to start with our first problem. Well, there's many times that you're going to be dealing with some type of calculation, whether it's be calculating the area of some figure, the volume of some figure, uh, it, it could be a variety of things, plugging in numbers in a formula that calculates interest. Um, and you'll encounter several operations. All right, well, what, what are operators? Well, operators are these multiplication, division, adding, subtracting, uh, all of those things that we do with numbers are called operators. So when we have several operators going on with one particular problem, like this one, we have several, there is an order in which you attack this problem and carry out these, um, these operations. All right, and uh, in order to figure out what order you work the problem, because you don't just always approach it from left to right, uh, especially when there's a mix of different uh, operations going on. Uh, you have to attack it in a certain order. So uh, I'm going to put up a graphic here that will explain what that order is. Alright, so this is uh, a graphic that a lot of people remember uh, and they use this when trying to figure out that order in which you do the, the problem. Uh, well, um, a lot of times people remember the P-E-M-D-A-S and they use a uh, uh, mnemonic device. Uh, they say this is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's a very common one. Uh, it's kind of timeless. It's been around for uh, probably hundreds of years. Who knows? Uh, so sometimes a silly little sentence like that will help you remember PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right, well, what does it mean? Well, P stands for parentheses, E exponents, M multiplication, D division, uh, A is addition, uh, and uh, of course the S is subtraction. So uh, we attack it in this order. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is look at this and say, all right, we're going to do anything that's in parentheses. So when I look at this negative 3, surely it, it is in parentheses, but there's no other operator with it. So I'm not supposed to do anything with it in, in this set of parentheses. Okay, so that means I'm done, and, and I'm going to approach this like a checklist. So I'd say, Yep, we're done with the first part. Okay, exponents. We do that part next. Well, here you go. I've got an exponent. So in other words, I'm not going to touch the rest of the problem. Seven. I'm going to have a minus sign. I'm going to have a plus sign. A div uh, division sign. In parentheses, the negative three. So in other words, everything is going to stay the same in this problem. I'm not going to deal with anything except deal with this one problem, which is to take 4 and square it. So 4 squared is 16. Okay, so I just did one particular step of the problem. All right, the next step, well, let's see, now that exponents are done, uh, if there is any multiplication and division, you group this together, and if there is, you take it from left to right. So I'm just going to look at all the multiplication and division, go left to right. So I'm going to say, okay, multiplication, let's see, that's subtraction, addition. Yep, there is a division sign. So I'm going to do this division problem next. So I'm going to leave the 7, the minus 16, the plus sign, and I'm just going to divide these two numbers. So let's see, 6 divided by negative 3. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. Sometimes when people see... Uh, you know, plus sign and a minus sign together, they put parentheses around it so it doesn't cause confusion. So I am going to be adding negative 2 to something. All right, but anyway, I did the division, and that's what I get, negative 2. All right, uh, what's next? Well, I've taken care of all my multiplication and division. Next, I go to addition and subtraction. Okay, well, if I have any addition and subtraction, I just take it left to right. Well, it's all adding and subtracting. So... I'm going to go left to right. So therefore, I'm going to do 7 minus 16, and I'm going to get negative 9. Still have to add negative 2. 
So negative 9 plus 2, that's negative 11. And there you have it. There's the first problem, and there's the first problem done by using PEMDAS. All right, let's go to problem number two. All right, so here's problem number two. All right, once again, I'm going to take it through the steps. Parentheses go first. All right, let's see. Parentheses. Yep, got something in parentheses. So I'm going to leave everything alone. Oops, I need the color back. So I put negative 2. I'm going to mess around with the parentheses there in a second. I'm leaving everything else exactly the way it is. Okay, so let's see. Negative 3 plus 1, that's negative 2. Okay, parentheses, check, done. All right, next thing we do are exponents. Yep, I've got a pair of... Uh, X or a pair of parentheses, but inside there I've got nothing to do inside the pair of parentheses, so I am now going to take the squaring. So I'm going to take negative 2 and squared. So that is negative 2 times negative 2. That's what it means to square. So negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. So everything on the outside stays exactly the way it is. I'm making a point to write that first so you can see that I'm not doing anything else. And then I square this. So I get 4. Okay, that takes care of parentheses and exponents. They're done. All right, now we're going to do multiplication and division left to right. So let's see. I see a whole bunch. Let's see multiplication, division, multiplication, and addition. So in other words, I'm going to see this giant pack of numbers here. So I'm going to take it from left to right. So negative 2 divided by 4, or I'm sorry, negative 2 times 4, that's negative 8. And I'm just taking it one step at a time. I'm going left to right. Okay, let's see. Negative 8 divided by 2, that's going to be negative 4. Everything else I'm just writing down, right? So I just dealt with these two, wrote my answer down, and I kept all this stuff the same. All right, again, I see multiplication, so I'm still going to multiply these two guys. I'm going to get 16. All right, so that takes care of my multiplication and division. Next step, I do addition and subtraction left to right. Well, there's only adding, so I'm going to add. And I'm going to get 21. Now, it's, it's um, you know, with the modern calculators, honestly, you could plug all this into a modern calculator, and it's going to do it all for you. But you want to know what's going on with that brain inside the calculator. I mean, it's been programmed according to these rules. So you should know what's happening. One day you may be programming that calculator. One day uh, those rules may be very important. Uh, maybe for finding the cure for cancer, you have to develop your own branch of mathematics that changes those rules, whatever. But some, you, you need to know something about mathematics before just plugging it into the calculator and thinking the magic box is coming up with the answer. Right? So it's vital that you know how to deal with this. All right, thanks for joining us today. And... Uh, Make sure you come back and check out our interactive quizzes and our uh, text lessons. Take care and have a great day.